And now only on eight, two RIT students are working to stop hunger on campus. They've created a food sharing program. Any student can pick up groceries for free. Allison Norleon has more. Kevin, what started out as simply an idea has now turned into a full-scale operation for two RIT students. Olivia Versage and Harshita Sood say their fellow RIT classmates should only have to worry about their studies, not about where their next meal is coming from. I know some students that work three, four jobs sometimes so that they can pay their way through college. Um, and a lot of the times they struggle with eating. Sood is a resident advisor at RIT. She says the food share program will benefit many of her residents, including one of her good friends. He would not eat on campus with me sometimes because... He wasn't able to pay for it. Sud and Versage started the food share program last semester. The young women have already collected dozens of non-perishable food items from organizations and students on campus. They are stocking up for the mini grocery store's grand opening at the end of March. Last semester, we um, sent out a survey to students across campus. Um, our class like shared it on Facebook. We went to different classes, had people fill out surveys, and it was I think at least 68 to 75 percent of students needed this. Data from America's largest emergency food service network shows that 10% of its 46.5 million adult clients are students. Two million of them attend school full-time. Versage and Sue don't want RIT students to be part of that national statistic. That's completely free, completely anonymous. This is not just for students who need free food. It's, it's for anyone. Students helping students combat hunger on campus. And right now, the girls are only collecting non-perishable food items, but they plan to start a fund where alumni or the community can do donate money. Allison Orleon.